33 degrees, first location of the day, it's a big uh, mental hospital, all enclosed by a huge wall, like I'll say 3 to 4 meters, we've seen that uh, an entrance through this wall is recently bricked up, so that's a bummer to start with. And Bob is checking out if there is a way over the wall. The whole site is partly active as well. We've seen like dozens of cars, staff members, but a couple of wings are abandoned and that's our goal for today. We can't get inside but we have to jump down and we don't know if we can get out again. The worst so. thing that can happen is that we break our legs. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, let's <laughs> find another way in. Yeah. Oh, but I thought it would be an easy one. Yeah. yeah. Normally you can just go into the active part and yeah. try it from there. Everything is closed now. Yeah. But you see here some traces as well. So I had a little bit of hope. Walking on the active ground. Yeah, everything is closed, man. So we're now on the active side. Should we walk here or something or yeah, not? On this side, maybe I don't know. Nothing to lose, man. <sighs> they closed it up pretty good. Yeah, no, there was only one option, right? Yeah, it's a. Uh, option is bricked up. It's a um, psychiatric Before institution, it so uh, yeah, it has a wall. I think this one is bricked. Try your luck. <laughs> Shitty video, but uh, we can't use the decent camera. Another dead end. After searching for an hour, we try our luck and go through the front entrance. So, uh, exciting times. We oh. went uh, over all the active parts, mm. crawled a bit, dived a bit. And it seems we now have some more options than before, so mm -hmm. this is a nice corridor. Wow, yes. super cool textures. It's a little bit maintained as well. Brand new locks everywhere. Finally. Have a look. After one and a half hour. <laughs> we're in the building, but we can't get any further. So we're gonna try in the basement, see if there are like underground tunnels. Oh wow, look at this. It's a light camp. Oh, yeah. That's pretty nice. Dope. <laughs> the ceiling came down. Yeah, true. But they don't want to see that anymore. Yeah. I like the amount of decay in here. It doesn't look like that from the outside. No, it's proper, uh, Normally when you think you are inside this huge building, you can go anywhere. Exactly. It's not the case in this building. Yeah, once inside, and everything is open. Ah, yeah, this is the tunnel system. So we need to go to that side, right? Uh, 
zombie. This tunnel. This is ground level. It's pretty cool. So, uh, should we go that way and then to the left or something? Or just try? Nothing to lose, right? Oh, yeah. That Bricked up. Yeah. Oh man, these freaking mosquitoes. Yeah. Jesus, all the banging, man. Crazy. <sighs> Jesus. So uh, it's really common in asylums to have like underground walkways because there are a lot of buildings and they're all connected. It's also a matter of safety, right? Yeah. But it's also the heating systems it's and the way water. way cheaper when it's just one yeah. system. I think it either even has some kind of a railway here, right? Look at uh, this. I think For transporting goods or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. could be, yeah. Interesting. Have some storage stuff. Look like some cell block or something. You're right. Perhaps eight people or something. Oh, Imagine being locked up here, man. Your life is worth nothing when you're These in you have a nice view. <laughs> so we're now below the building you want to see. So now we have to find our way up somewhere. Yeah, a crazy maze here. It's unbelievable. No, it's not in here. Yeah, we finally found a staircase, but it's Bricks. bricked. <sighs> the never ending story continues. Day one. <laughs> and it's endless. Stairs. Oh, stairs. Woo! Stairs. Let's hope uh, we can get inside the building. Then. No, closed up. No, really. Yes, closed up. Is it open? No. No, it's really locked up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Life of an explorer. Oh, it's not as easy. Yeah. Mosquitoes are eating us. We're not giving up yet, man. Uh, oh. If I knew this in forehand, oh. I would have laid down on the beach with a oh, big beer. Tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow. So this asylum is called the Pain House. <laughs> and we uh, experience the same now. So we found an entrance after, I don't know, three, four hours. And there was a guy shouting at us. We don't know who it was. It was an Italian, no yeah. entrada, something like that. Then the sound disappeared and we continued, so... We're also a bit trapped inside, you know? <laughs> yeah. Try to get in? Mm -hmm. So after three hours of searching, many mosquito bites and thorns, we're finally in a city of pain, which we had as well. So uh, the building is gigantic, as you might have seen from the drone shots. So uh, we have a lot to cover, a lot to explore, long corridors, and there are a few interesting highlights which we can try to find. I think many tourists are like this one, so I think even now we made it inside. Outside was a maze, but I think inside it's even, even worse. worse. So uh, wish us luck. <laughs> it's a mental house and it reminds me a lot of a prison because there are like bars and Things everywhere. <laughs> this thing is closed up. Yeah, it must be really depressing to be inside. Yeah, true. Where the patients uh, were locked away. 
This one looks pretty comfortable, right? I think something for the identity of the patient, the name or something. And here you can see the boxes for their personal belongings or whatever. <laughs> But I think this is not the most strict uh, way of keeping them because we read some articles that sometimes they're really isolated from the groups, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There should be some like prison cells. Indeed. Asylums in the United States, which I saw was like a prison. Locked up. So this is pretty comfortable. When you have like a broken arm or a leg, I don't know. Yeah. All right, cool. So you can exercise again. So they can set, set specific limits here, you know? Uh -huh. How far you can stretch and then. Crazy. Or you can just uh, adjust it. Exactly, yeah. It's some it's really old, old stuff, yeah. Interesting. Patients were locked here, so the rooms are round. Yeah. That way they can't hurt themselves, there are no corners. Exactly. Crazy. So this is really the isolation. Yeah. So the only thing we saw. Exactly. Make sure I get it locked up. Yeah, okay. we'll close it up now. <laughs> yeah. I mean, imagine seeing this for the rest of your life. <sighs> yeah, you would go crazy. I go crazy. Yeah. I think everyone goes mental after a few of years course, in isolation. Of course, you lose it. <laughs> wow, that looks better than I imagined. Look at the oh, yes. The roots are growing inside the building here. Can you imagine the sound of all these people here screaming and shouting to each other? part about these human cages is that it's not even the worst that happened here. So there was like electroshock therapy, lobotomy, um, actually they, experiments. Yeah, 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 they did all kind of experiments on people, unethical and many people even didn't survive uh, Fatal those surgeries. Yeah. yeah. So that's a really sad story. Maybe we find some of those chairs of something like electroshock would be really cool. Totally filled with patient records. Seventies. Is that the first stabilization for the neck? Yeah. Oh, creepy. So maybe there's a X-ray machine close. Corridors are endless. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty spooky. Would be a good uh, episode of Ghost Hunters, huh? Slamming doors and stuff. Jesus. So we're still looking for several things, like maybe a lobotomy room, more beds, electro shock therapy equipment. Your brain activity here. Uh, 
<laughs> some kind of medical room. But uh, some people had some fun in here staging it. Yeah, but still, <laughs> it's fun. Many goodies here. Yeah, yeah. It's nice to see. Open your mind. <laughs> Sorry, sir. You lost one arm. It's crazy that all the medicines are still there. Outside here. Oh yeah. Last calendar. So that indicates it closed in 1998. At least this part. So perhaps some parts already were closed during that time. But this part definitely closed in 1998. Exactly, that's what I understood as well. Yeah. It's like a all too well. Hmm? Oh wow, look at this. It's a workshop. So they have made shoes here. Jesus. Super nice. It's like a really vintage material. I've never right? seen something like this before. Yeah. And, uh, uh, really nice. I like the lamp, you know. That's super cool. It's time to go, get a hotel, but we're stuck. In the city of pain. I wish we had my time, man. We should have, have had film more, but it's really difficult. Yeah, it's really amazing. And they closed some parts up uh, really recently, so that makes it even more difficult. Wait, guys, <laughs> we promised you some drone shots, but as you can see, it's raining. The radar is terrible.